They were born from the same dream, to push humanity beyond Earth. But their journeys couldn't be more different. One is a relentless machine, launching rockets with assembly line efficiency, sending astronauts, cargo, and satellites into orbit on a near-weekly basis. The other, quiet, calculated, moving slower, but aiming higher, building not just rockets, but the infrastructure for a future among the stars. This is a rivalry that's more than just business. It's ambition versus patience, velocity versus vision, and it could define the next century of human exploration. Blue Origin versus SpaceX, a David and Goliath story playing out above our heads. But the question is, can Jeff Bezos's secretive space company really challenge Elon Musk's empire? Before SpaceX had ever fired a rocket, before Starship and Falcon 9 became household names, there was Blue Origin. Founded in the year 2000, two years before Elon Musk even started SpaceX, Jeff Bezos quietly began building his vision for humanity's future beyond Earth. But unlike Musk's headline-grabbing announcements, Bezos preferred secrecy. His company operated behind closed doors, speaking rarely, revealing almost nothing. The name Blue Origin itself hints at his philosophy that Earth, the blue planet, is our origin, but not our destiny. Bezos believes humanity's long-term survival depends on leaving the cradle of Earth and spreading into the solar system. And not just a few astronauts or colonies, but millions of people living and working in space. While Musk's dream was to go to Mars, Bezos envisioned building the roads, rails, and launch pads that would make such journeys possible. Reusable rockets, orbital platforms, and permanent infrastructure. In the early years, Blue Origin moved slowly, deliberately, almost to a fault. Where SpaceX took bold leaps and risked failure in public, Blue Origin chose caution, testing quietly and iterating in the background. Bezos's philosophy was simple. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. For years, the company built engines, ran small-scale tests, and invested billions without ever attempting an orbital launch. To many, it seemed like Blue Origin was falling behind. But Bezos wasn't trying to win the first race. He was planning for the marathon, one that would reshape humanity's place in the cosmos. While Blue Origin was moving quietly and cautiously, Elon Musk was making noise. In 2002, two years after Bezos founded Blue Origin, Musk created SpaceX with a singular, audacious goal to make humanity a multi-planetary species. From the very beginning, SpaceX played a very different game. Instead of secrecy, it embraced risk and relentless iteration. Failure wasn't hidden. It was live-streamed to millions. Rockets exploded, prototypes crashed, and the company flirted with bankruptcy more than once. But every mistake was a lesson learned, and each lesson pushed SpaceX forward. By 2008, the scrappy startup had successfully launched Falcon 1, becoming the first privately funded company to reach orbit. Just two years later, Falcon 9 followed, a larger, more powerful rocket that would become the workhorse of modern spaceflight. Then came the real breakthrough, reusability. In 2015, SpaceX did what many thought was impossible. It landed a rocket booster safely back on Earth. This revolutionized launch economics, slashing costs and paving the way for routine, rapid launches. As Blue Origin continued suborbital tests, SpaceX was delivering satellites, resupplying the International Space Station, and even flying astronauts. Starlink blanketed the globe with thousands of satellites, while Starship, the most powerful rocket ever built, promised to carry humans to Mars. Musk's company had become the face of the new space age, 
fast, fearless, and unstoppable. And in comparison, Blue Origin looked like it was standing still. But Bezos wasn't out of the fight. His company was about to make its first major move, not with orbital launches, but with a bold leap into space tourism. For years, critics mocked Blue Origin as the company that never launches. But behind the scenes, Bezos's team was perfecting something bold, a fully reusable suborbital rocket called New Shepard. Named after Alan Shepard, the first American in space, New Shepard was designed for one purpose, to give ordinary people a taste of space flight. It wouldn't reach orbit like Falcon 9, but it didn't need to. This was about opening the door, about turning space travel from something reserved for astronauts into something accessible to civilians. In 2015, New Shepard flew to the edge of space, separated its capsule, and then, in a spectacular demonstration, landed its booster safely back on Earth. Blue Origin had quietly beaten SpaceX to the punch on one crucial milestone, reusing a rocket. Over the next few years, New Shepard flew again and again, refining its design and proving its reliability. Then, in July 2021, Jeff Bezos himself strapped in and soared past the Karman line, becoming one of the first billionaires to personally ride a rocket built by his own company. The missions were short, just 11 minutes from launch to landing, but they marked a symbolic turning point. Blue Origin was no longer just a company with dreams. It was now a spaceflight operator, regularly carrying scientists, payloads, and paying passengers beyond Earth's atmosphere. Still, New Shepard had its limits. It was an impressive technological showcase, but it couldn't compete with SpaceX's orbital capabilities. If Blue Origin wanted to truly challenge Musk's dominance, it needed something bigger, much bigger. That next step would be New Glenn, a colossal rocket designed to go head-to-head -head with Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. If New Shepard was a proof of concept, New Glenn was Blue Origin's declaration of war. Standing more than 95 meters tall, taller than SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, New Glenn was designed to do what Bezos had always promised, deliver heavy payloads to orbit, deploy satellites, and one day, even carry humans beyond Earth's atmosphere. It's a fully reusable two-stage rocket with a first stage capable of landing on a drone ship at sea, just like Falcon 9. But this wasn't just imitation. New Glenn would be far more powerful, capable of lifting nearly 50 metric tons into low Earth orbit, enough to place massive satellites, build space stations, or launch interplanetary missions. For Blue Origin, New Glenn wasn't just a rocket. It was the key to legitimacy. The company had to prove it could compete in the commercial launch market, the same market SpaceX was now dominating. And yet, as the years rolled by, New Glenn faced a familiar enemy, delay. Originally slated for a 2020 debut, its launch date slipped again and again engine development setbacks, design changes, supply chain disruptions, each pushed the timeline further into the future. As SpaceX launched dozens of Falcon 9 missions per year, Blue Origin had yet to launch New Glenn even once. On the 16th of January, 2025, New Glenn launched for the first time. Blue Origin reached orbit on its first attempt, injecting the GS-2 upper stage and the Blue Ring prototype payload into medium Earth orbit. Blue Origin stated that the first stage of New Glenn was lost on descent. Telemetry showed that the booster was traveling at an approximate speed of Mach 5.5 at an altitude of 84,000 feet before it was deemed lost. Once New Glenn is fully successful, it will enter a booming global market for satellite launches 
and potentially compete for lucrative national security contracts worth billions. NASA, the Pentagon, and commercial operators are all watching closely, because if New Glenn succeeds, it could finally place Blue Origin shoulder to shoulder with SpaceX, but if it fails, the gap between the two companies might become impossible to close. Still, Blue Origin's ambitions don't stop at Earth orbit. Bezos has his eyes on something far grander, the moon, and the next battle with SpaceX would unfold not in low Earth orbit, but on the lunar surface itself. For Jeff Bezos, Earth orbit was never the finish line. It was just the starting point. His real vision was always far beyond, and the next great frontier for Blue Origin was the moon. NASA's Artemis program, Humanity's plan to return to the lunar surface for the first time in over half a century offered the perfect opportunity. In 2021, the agency announced it would select a private company to build the human landing system, the spacecraft that would carry astronauts down to the moon's surface. Blue Origin submitted a bid, so did SpaceX. And when NASA made its decision, the result was a devastating blow. SpaceX won the contract. For Bezos, it was more than just a lost business deal. It was a public defeat in the most high-profile competition of Blue Origin's history. Bezos fired back, filing protests, and even suing NASA over the decision. But the message was clear. Once again, SpaceX had outpaced its rival. Yet the story didn't end there. Recognizing the importance of competition, NASA opened a second round of contracts. This time, Blue Origin secured a major victory, winning a multi-billion dollar deal to develop a lunar lander for future Artemis missions. Their spacecraft, Blue Moon, would ferry astronauts and cargo from lunar orbit to the surface, playing a crucial role in building a sustainable presence on the moon. This was more than a consolation prize. It was proof that Blue Origin could still compete and win on the biggest stage in space exploration, and it positioned the company as a key player in humanity's return to the moon. But beyond the contracts and the headlines, the Artemis rivalry exposed something deeper, two fundamentally different visions for humanity's future. And at the heart of this space race are two men who couldn't be more different, yet are driven by the same dream. At the heart of this rivalry are two billionaires, two titans of technology, with one shared dream to take humanity beyond Earth. But their visions of the future couldn't be more different. Elon Musk sees humanity as a multi-planetary species. His obsession is Mars, a self-sustaining city on the red planet that could ensure the survival of our species if disaster strikes Earth. Every rocket, every Starlink satellite, every Starship prototype, it all points toward one singular mission, make life multiplanetary. Jeff Bezos, meanwhile, imagines a future much closer to home, but far more ambitious. He envisions millions of people living and working in space, not as explorers or pioneers, but as citizens. Space isn't just a destination. It's an infrastructure project, massive rotating habitats, orbital industries, solar power stations, humanity expanding outward, while Earth becomes a protected paradise. In his words, we will move heavy industry off Earth, and Earth will be zoned residential and light industrial. It's a philosophical divide. Musk wants humanity to leave Earth. Bezos wants humanity to preserve it. One dreams of a lifeboat for civilization. The other dreams of an entire solar system teeming with life. And yet, both approaches are essential. They reflect two sides of the same coin. Two strategies for ensuring that humanity's story doesn't end where it began. And as their companies push forward, 
their competition isn't just about rockets or contracts. It's about who will shape that future first. The race isn't over. In many ways, it's only just beginning because the next decade will decide everything. On one side stands SpaceX, a company moving at breakneck speed. Starship, the most powerful rocket ever built, is already undergoing test flights. When fully operational, it will be capable of carrying over 100 tons to orbit, refueling in space, and journeying to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Combined with Starlink, a global internet constellation generating billions in revenue, SpaceX is positioning itself as both the workhorse and the architect of humanity's expansion into the cosmos. On the other side is Blue Origin, finally stepping out from the shadows. New Glenn is overdue its long-awaited first successful flight, and if successful, it could compete directly with Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. The Blue Moon Lander is set to play a central role in NASA's Artemis missions. And Orbital Reef, a planned commercial space station, aims to become a bustling hub for research, industry, and tourism in low Earth orbit. The stakes couldn't be higher. Governments, private companies, and billionaires are all racing to secure their place in a trillion-dollar space economy. Whoever controls launch capacity, infrastructure, and transportation will shape the next century of human history. But the outcome isn't guaranteed. SpaceX has the momentum, but it's also taking enormous risks. Starship's future depends on solving unprecedented engineering challenges. Blue Origin has the resources. And Bezos's nearly limitless wealth means it can afford to play the long game. If New Glenn succeeds and Orbital Reef becomes reality, Blue Origin could quietly build the foundation of a space-based civilization, even if SpaceX wins the early races. In the end, this isn't just a battle between two companies. It's a struggle to define the future of our species. And the question remains, will the bold pioneer continue to dominate? Or will the patient architect rise from the shadows to reshape humanity's destiny? If you've enjoyed this journey, give the video a like that really helps us out. If you want to help us keep exploring stories like this, consider joining the channel's membership. Your support helps us dive deeper into these cosmic rivalries, uncover new discoveries, and bring you the wonders of the universe every single week because in the end this is only the beginning and there is so much more to come.